up you guys this is joy welcome back to the channel i want to um, send out um gratitude light and love to my aloha fam i really appreciate you guys and uh welcome to the channel any new viewers um today we're going to be doing another letters from your soulmate okay if you guys don't know how these uh, readings go if you're new here um i will uh, read a letter and then we'll also get you some advice some cards for advice after that that will um, Hopefully help you guys into uh, manifesting uh, This next soulmate love connection uh, And further bringing it into uh, fruition bring you guys together. Okay um, today. We're gonna be having three readings or three letters as usual Okay, uh, the first letter here stamp on it oops the stamp on this one is from uh vatican city okay for the second group this stamp is from japan okay and for the third group this stamp is from jamaica all right all right so you guys can pause the video if you like see which one of these letters you'd like to select and then go from there okay so we're just gonna jump right on into it all right and go ahead and start with group number one all right all right you guys if you selected group number one this is gonna be a reading all right so let's go ahead and um, get your letter you guys have selected the letter with the Vatican City uh, stamp on it okay so let's go ahead and see what your message is gonna be today Mind you, the letter, the number that's on this uh, letter also is number 23. So simplify down, that is number five. So uh, it definitely symbolizes change in your life, okay? Uh, and however those that number means, uh, whatever that number means to you as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get on into this letter and see, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> we got some number of synchronicity on this one as well. And it's funny that I read that number on the back of the, the letter as well for you guys. But your letter says, your letter's called The Real Thing, okay? It says, my love, as I write this, I'm seeing 1111 on the clock. So I know this message will reach you well. In my life, I've seen so many come and go so many turn out to be something different than who they claim to be. I came across many who say one thing and then do another. People who put the blame on everyone else but themselves. The types that don't last. The kind of people who are in your life for only a season and for no good reason. But the one person I know who will say what they mean, do what they say they will, and hang around for more than a season is you. I know that you will always share with me and our love will stand the test of time. I know that you'll never pretend to be something or someone that you're not. You've always been there for me time and time again. My soulmate, my spiritual love, my everything. It is you who I dedicate my life to and will love forever. Once we're finally together, I'm never leaving your side. I love you always. I can't wait to meet you again. Your soulmate. All right, you guys. So that is your letter for this reading. And let's go ahead and see what advice we got for you guys as well with the cards here. So first card out we have is horse spirit. All right. So horse spirit says let your imagination run wild okay so this is telling you to allow yourself to tap into your creative uh energy you know creative uh like with creative visualization meditation and allow yourself to see uh what it would be like or to feel what it would be like um to be in this union again you know with your soulmate all right it's telling you to be motivated, to allow that to motivate you, you know, allow the idea of your person who's meant to be in your life, your next love soulmate, 
to give you that passion that you need to carry on. Channel your energy, channel your emotions. That is why that's why I'm saying like to allow yourself to to feel what it would feel like to have that person in your presence. You know? Feel how it feel like to to feel them near you, you know, to hear them talking to you, you know. What would your life be like if you two were together? What would you want your life to be like uh, when you two come together? Allow yourself to see all these things, okay? And the horse spirit also uh, symbolizes emotional balance and sexual energy, okay? So allow yourself to tap into this uh, sexual energy that you have within you, okay? And balance it out. If it is out of balance, um, only you guys would know that if it's in balance or out of balance or, you know, whether it is in the excess or whether it's like non-existent. This is just saying to balance yourself out emotionally um, and energetically. Balance yourself out. Balance yourself out through meditation or anything that helps you calm down and relax, right? Uh, that helps you center yourself. This is with me. Uh, any type, anything that relaxes you like... Uh, yoga, uh, meditation, you know, being out in nature, just do what it is that you need to do to uh, balance out your mind, body, and soul. That's what I'm getting. Okay, and I do see that if you embody these uh, characteristics, like being passionate and balancing yourself out emotionally, um, stepping into an energy of being a free spirit, just allowing things to flow then that will further open up, you know, or, or clear up some blocks that you may have been having when it comes to manifesting this person into your life, okay? You got to go with the flow. Just be like that. Be like a wild horse. That's what I'm getting, you know? You know how, like, um, out in wild, uh, a wild horse is not going to let anybody just come and try to capture them, you know? They're going to run away because they want to be free. They want to flow. So they're not putting themselves in any, any, any box, okay? Free spirit is not going to put themselves in any box. Uh, it's not going to have themselves restricted in any kind of way. So this is telling you to let your hair down, you know, let things flow, live a little, you know, um, just enjoy life in general. You know, some of you guys, I feel that you've been uh, being a bit too serious. You know, you need to just relax and chill and just take on like. Let go of some of the heaviness when it comes to your your energy overall. Let go of some of the heaviness and with with um, you manifesting this type of experience here in life. Like don't don't be too serious to where you um, suffocate the energy and you don't allow it to flow. That's what I'm getting. You gotta let the energy flow, right? When you try too hard, when you're doing too much, it could actually have um, the opposite effect of what you want to want what you want to have okay so key thing here is just let things uh flow all right so the next card out we got is aphrodite wow inner goddess so this is whether you're a, uh, a woman or a man you know it doesn't matter this is just energy here okay it says awaken the goddess within you through dance self-care and appreciating your divinity okay you guys it's still telling you to you know to tap back into that your power Tap back into uh, your creative energy, your creative passion, you know, allow yourself to fully express yourself, express what has been hidden, express what you have, like cut yourself off from maybe, you know, allow yourself to flow and to to live out your wildest imaginations, your wildest dreams, you know, allow yourself to to um to explore those energies, to explore those ideas, to explore those dreams, you know, that you may have, um, that you may have locked away somewhere deep down in your subconscious or somewhere. You just, maybe because of, out of judgment from other people, you know, but this is like not even worrying about that and just getting into the flow, you know, if you really want this to happen, Somebody else's opinion about your life and what you choose to do should never matter, okay? And it's telling you, if you like dancing, 
It's just telling you to go with the flow and allow yourself to dance with the rhythms of life and just go and just allow yourself to experience new experiences, you know? Care for yourself. Put value on yourself, you know? Take care of yourself as well. Uh, Self-care, any way that, that resonates with you, you know? It could be, for some of you guys, it could be, you know, going to get a pedicure, going to get a manicure, going to get your hair done, you know? Um, losing weight for some people, you know, exercising, uh, meditating, doing yoga, doing exercise. I said exercising. Ooh, some of us weightlifting, you know, uh, eating right, eating a cleaner uh, diet. You know, this is just focusing on yourself and, and, and giving your body, you know, the care that and, and, and attention that it needs, you know, so that you can be in flow with these energies, with uh, with the earth and the universe. So you can be in flow with it. And you can tap into that, that creative energy and that creative flow so that you could manifest and pull this connection into uh, fruition. Okay. Uh, the next card out we got is two of wands. All right. We got two of wands. We put it there. And then we got queen of cups. See? Queen of cups. I'm going to stop right here. Queen of cups. You see how she's like, she's in the tub. She's relaxing. So... I feel that some of you guys have been just been caught up in work, been caught up in the day to day grind that you just you haven't been taking care of yourself. You haven't been giving yourself the love, attention and care that you need. You know, uh, I think a lot of times we just get so busy in life. We take care of everybody else but ourselves. But uh, you need to redirect that focus and, and, and focus on yourself and take care of you for once, you know. Make yourself feel good, you know. Um, make yourself the MVP. Make yourself important, you know. You're an important person too within this, you know. And I feel that that's going to allow you to get back into those emotions that you need to tap into uh, or that you need to um, unblock, you know. This is coming back into feeling whole, feeling emotionally balanced again with this Queen of Cups energy. You know, taking care of yourself, having a passion, having compassion and um, sympathy and respect for yourself, having love for yourself as well, you know, and having compassion and love for other people as well that are around you, you know, balancing, getting yourself back into energetic or emotional balance, you know, uh, with two of wands here, I'm seeing that you guys need to. You need to actually sit down and take this seriously. If you guys want to uh, initiate change, uh, like I was saying that this number of change is going to be a big thing. So you guys need to do something different. You need to do something different than you've been doing uh, before. OK, whatever you've been doing right now is I feel for a lot of you guys have have uh, stunted your, your your growth overall or it's, it's stifled or, or snuffed out the energy. You know, the flow, the flow needs to, the flow is building up and it needs to flow and it needs to move. But I feel that you need to do something different to get that energy flowing and moving again. Okay. And one of those things that you need to do is you need to sit down and make plans. Think about where it is that you want to go, what it is that you want to do, what it is that you want to manifest and want to see happen in your life and take those steps towards making room and making a, um, setting up your environment to have that come into the space you know it's like um that's just like somebody trying to build a new house on land that has not been prepped uh, for building a new house like let's say there's a house that's already on there or let's say that it's a lot of woods and stuff like that and a lot of trees and like forests um, anytime you, 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 you want to build something new, like for example, like the forest, right? You, you, you have this land that has trees on it, you know, and everything else on it. You have to clear that land. You have to prepare the ground, uh, in order for you to build something brand new upon it. And then that's what I feel that it needs to be done in your life. You need to clear out, um, baggage from the past. You need to clear out uh, negative energies you need to clear. Out. I feel a, a spiritual cleansing is in, in need for you guys as well. And there's a lot of thing, a lot of baggage, a lot of, uh, junk that's within your energetic field that you need to clear out to make way for this new, uh, 
this new uh, thing that wants to be built or right, that you're trying to build in your life. OK, so I'm feeling like chopping all those trees down metaphorically, you know, and that's like, like I said, that's baggage. That's limited beliefs, you know, that is uh, pain from the past. That is people who are still in your experience, who don't need to be in your experience, who don't serve your highest good and so forth and so forth. Cleaning all that stuff out and preparing that ground to build something solid and new for you to experience. You know, uh, we also got curiosity. OK, this is telling you to allow yourself to be open to experience new things to a lot to not close yourself off and not to i'm getting like for somebody i'm getting like prude to not be a prude to allow yourself to experience to not punish yourself and tell yourself that it's not right for you to experience xyz you know you shouldn't experience or or you might feel guilty about experiencing something but it's telling you spirit is telling you to, to experience it allow yourself you deserve to live life you deserve to to uh have a full life and a full life full of experiences and what is a life without experiencing things new experiences you know that's the only way that you're ever going to learn truly who you are and what you like what you don't like what you want what you don't want you know you have to allow yourself to experience new things and learn new things uh every day that you live you should be learning something new you know and evolving and moving forward right we got Sunday. Sunday may be uh, an important day for some of you guys. However, that resonates with you. And then we got Taurus season. Okay, Taurus season, April 21st through May 20th. So you may be a Taurus or your person may be a Taurus or this season may be a significant time for you guys where you might meet this person uh, during Taurus season. Um or something significant may take place within the season between April 21st and May 20th. So that's April 21st of 2021 and May 20th of 2021. Okay. So definitely that's why I feel that you guys need to, to use this time right now, you know, where you are right now to prepare, prepare, plan and prepare, uh, for this change that is to come into your life for this new person, make room, uh, clear out, uh, this stuff that doesn't no longer belongs to be and belongs to be that no longer belongs in your, in your atmosphere. And that is not serving your eyes good and prepare for the new to come in. Okay. So that's what I got for you guys for this group. If you like it, like the video, subscribe. If you want to see more like this, love and light to you all. Take care. Ciao. All right, you guys, if you selected group number two, the, the letter from Japan with the Japanese stamp on it. This is gonna be your reading. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. The number you got on the back of it is 28. So simplify that is number 10. So definitely um, seeing, um, feeling new beginnings for you guys in this group, okay? New beginnings. So let's see what we got here for you guys. Your letter, letter is called uh, Safekeeping, okay? It says, my love, I ask heaven to keep you safe until I can be there with you to protect you myself. I ask heaven to protect your heart, mind, soul, and body so that I may find you in good graces. With every passing day, I pray that you are safe and away from any form of harm. I pray that you are guided to the help you need at any time of need. I pray that you find the help you need to get out of any possible negative situations. I just wouldn't be able to live with myself if you were to ever be hurt physically, mentally, or spiritually. You are my one and only, and I always want the best for you. I want you to be safe, happy, and protected. I'm praying to get to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for being my one true love. Love, your soulmate. All right. So this uh, most likely for a lot of you guys is going to be a brand new connection, a brand new person. Some of you guys may not even know yet. OK, so the first card I got is Manatee Spirit. OK, Manatee Spirit. So this card says slow down and get there gracefully. OK, don't rush. It's telling you not to rush, not to not to try to rush this connection between you and that person, not to try to rush. Um, 
rush this manifestation like some of us want things like i'm guilty of that as well you know some of us want to like they we want it now like we don't want to wait until later we don't want to wait to two months two years whatever we don't want to wait we want it now when we want whatever we want we want it now so this is telling you to not be in that energy to relax calm down uh find some sense of inner peace and allow yourself to use this time that you have until you guys come together allow yourself to use it wisely i'm feeling prepared because this is going to be a brand new beginning for you so i feel that you need to you need to get get ready you know get ready for this new beginning clear out things and this is similar to the first group so if this one resonates with you maybe you want to watch number one as well but this is just saying like you know to clear out the old and you know do some spring cleaning it's winter time for me isn't it winter already i think so but um one of them, winter fall i don't know but it's cold but uh either way it, do some cleaning clean out some clutter that's in your life and prepare for this new uh beginning okay it's telling you to use patience use grace uh, simplify your life okay it is telling you to simplify things if you got too much going on you need to simplify things you know cut some things out of your life that you no longer need cut some people out of your life that no longer need to be in your life okay and excuse me this could also go down to uh even like cleaning out your space your living spaces you know your house your apartment whatever you live in uh cleaning out your room like throwing away things that you no longer need throwing away clothes that you no longer wear you know donating them you know getting rid of books that you don't need you know donating those as well just clearing out clutter okay getting things ready okay being able to also being open to adapting to these new situations and adapting to change the change that this new beginning is going to bring in into your life okay I really feel like this is a continuation of group number one. I really do. It feels like it's like the extended reading for group number one. If so, if this one, like I said before, if this one resonates, check out group number one, too. OK, uh, this is telling you to trust, you know, it's also advising you to heal pain from past situations and forgive you know, people uh, that were involved so that you don't hold on to that and you don't allow it to to just. Uh, infiltrate into your life and your energetic field and just like wreak havoc on your life you know a lot of times people hold grudges you know and they they don't want to forgive because they feel that well if i forgive this person is letting them off the hook and forgiveness is just for them no 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 no. forgiveness is for you as well you don't have to contact that person and be like hey i forgive you you don't have to do that you don't even have to talk to them you know but you can energetically forgive them uh and forgive yourself for the part that you may have played in, in that situation so that you are no longer holding on to that energy so that that person whatever they did to you however they affected you is no longer having control over your life that is what forgiveness is forgiveness is a tool that you can use to free yourself from the power that this person has over you or that the power that this past situation has over you okay that's exactly what it is when we hold grudges we've given up our power to that person that person is winning that person has our our, our power and um our self-control in a lot of ways so in order for you to take it back you gotta forgive it forgive yourself forgive them and move on that's how you take your power back you don't let them control you emotionally let that event control your future your present you know something that happened in the past you allow yourself to work through it so that you can take your power back that is true strength you know what i'm saying that's that's how you know that you are, are a real warrior how you're leveling up in your life and how you're moving forward and how you're progressing in your life as well okay um also you need to uh trust more you know uh trust more and allow yourself to react to things more positively okay you want to make sure that um your legacy that you leave on this earth is one that that 
is one of you making positive impacts on on your life and also the lives of people that are around you okay like taking the high road right because we want to raise our vibrations uh we want to come out of stagnancy we want to um come out of the lower base energies that that is uh holding grudges ha having anger you know resentments and all that stuff we want to come up out of that we gotta raise our vibe vi vibes to get the things that we want you know you got athena inner wisdom all right this says you know what to do trust your inner wisdom just like this says trust okay it's talking about trusting trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without the league like you guys i feel that you guys intuitively already know what that you need to do uh the changes that you need to make what you need to clear out of your energetic field who you need to clear out of your life what stuff you need to clear out of your living spaces you already know that you just that you just have to do it you know so it's up to you when you want to uh when you're ready to make this uh these changes okay we got judgment we got the full we got king of swords we got five of cups so yeah this five of cups is telling me that something from the past may still have a hold of you guys okay some situation from the past might still have you guys trapped in that time frame okay think about it people if something happened last year last month yesterday whatever it's not today is not yesterday you know it's a brand new day you know so Regardless of what is taking place, there's no need for us to, you know, if somebody did us dirty, there's no need for us to to replay those moments over and over and over and to be stuck within that 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 time frame, you know, keeping ourselves stuck in like in, in a time loop. OK, it's like, do you want to be stuck in the time loop reliving uh, the thing that took place that may have broken your heart or disappointed you? Um and just re replaying that thing over and over, torturing yourself over and over and over and over again. Or do you want to get out of that time loop and, and, and let and catch up with reality, you know, because whatever took place in, the, in like a year ago or whatever, it's gone. Like you're a year behind because we you've you've uh, lived a year ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like you you're not in that time frame no more. It's not. It's not like January 1st, 1999. It's not, it, we're in 2020 right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you need to, to upgrade your thinking, upgrade your your uh, your mentality, you know, your energetic fields as well to keep up with the time because what happened in the past is in the past, you know? It's no longer there. And look, we got the fool here too, which is talking about that new beginning that I told you about. Uh... That is um, uh, evident within this group. There's a new beginning coming for you guys. I see with judgment. I see you guys finally realizing thing. You know, waking up, wake, waking up to the truth in this situation. You know, uh, being divinely guided. You know, uh, connecting with spirit so that spirit can show you the truth and allow you to finally heal from this situation and move forward from whatever took place in the past that may be keeping you blocked uh, within that energy. OK, I see with King of Swords, I see you guys um, coming into a space of using your head over your heart. You know what I'm saying? Like stepping away, detaching from your heart to a, give it a break, give it a rest and allow it to allow it to heal and using your brain to, so that you could do using your mind so that you you can do what is right. You know, you don't let your your heart you know, have you reacting negatively or, or doing things that go against your highest good, you know? So I feel, you know, this is also you uh, focusing on what you need to do to move yourself forward out of this situation onto something better for yourself. Journaling may be good for you guys at this time, you know, writing stuff down, writing, um, what happened down you know uh writing the things that you have to be thankful for writing 
what took place and how it has an effect and a hold on you on you and your life okay so that you can see how what you need to change and you can see um how these past events may have affected you and and controlled your life you know it's gonna i feel that for a lot of guys journaling is gonna help you guys um take control of the situation and see things for what it truly is okay we all make mistakes this card just talks about to know that everyone makes mistakes okay you make mistakes i make mistakes the other per people make mistakes we all make mistakes no one is perfect so don't hold anyone don't hold yourself and most importantly don't hold yourself to the highest of standards to where that you you hold yourself in and think that you have to be perfect because no one's perfect you know we all make mistakes we learn and that's what i think is, is the most important is that we're learning from the mistakes that we do make you know that's what's most important not the mistakes that we made and that we weren't perfect but is that we learn from them so that we don't make the same mistakes over again you know so it still talks about forgiveness for yourself and for other people august might be a significant month it might it may have been a significant month for you or it may be a significant month for you guys moving forward into the 2021 the number three may be significant for you guys number three three months from now three months from now it may be a significant time for you guys as well in the next few weeks something may take place yeah, within the next few weeks for you guys. Maybe a significant uh, event or something that takes place for you guys that may help you propel you forward in this uh, connection, okay? March may be a significant month for you guys. And July. We got a, we got a bunch of months for you guys. We got uh, August, March, and July, okay? And then we got three months for you guys as well. So that's what I got for you guys for this reading. If you like it, subscribe. Oh, if, like, if this resonated with you, like the video and subscribe for more videos. Okay. Much love, peace and life for you guys. And I wish you all the best in your next soulmate love connection. Okay. Take care. Ciao. What is up, you guys? If you selected number three, if you selected the letter from Jamaica down by me, in hospital, in a client done if that is the one that you chose this one is your your reading all right <laughs> let me stop but yeah you guys this is going to be your reading let's go ahead and jump right on into it uh 17 is your number right number eight so this talks about uh abundance you know abundance coming into your life all right so you got stand up for yourself it says i hope you're doing great my soulmate i'm writing you to share this important message to you during this time i hope that you stand up for yourself please be okay with who you are what you've been through and what you've learned never let anyone change the beautiful spirit that you have at times there may have been or will be others who want to dim your light and stop you from shining. They may even try to make you feel that you are not worthy of all the love and praise you deserve. You mean the world to me, and that's all that matters. Not what anyone else says or thinks. There's nothing that anyone can do that will change that. I send my love and positive healing energy your way, and at any time you need it, especially at times when you don't feel your best, or even your strongest. Always feel free to shine your light and be who you are. And not allow anyone to tear you down and change who you are. You are the best. Love, your eternal flame. All right, that's your letter. So yeah, I'm getting this whole abundant type of vibe. This is you stepping into your own power. You know what I'm saying? This is for you, you stepping into your own confidence and allowing it to flow. Because I feel that there's, there's something that wants to be uh 
birthed in you guys. There's something that wants to come up. There's something that is that wants to shine. There's something that wants to flourish within you. You know, some form of self-expression. You know, some inner energy wants to come out. Some energy wants to be born. Some energy wants to have its day to shine, you know, or period to shine, time to shine, you know? Yeah. All right, so we move on to the cards here. All right, so let's see. We have the lion spirit. We have the lion spirit here. Yes, and the lion spirit says your personal strength will get you through. Let me stop. Your personal spirit, <laughs> your personal strength will get you through, all right? This tells you to, and this is the same thing we were talking about, right? The lion spirit is talking about you stepping into your strength, right? You being uh, assertive. You, uh, you having this determination, you stepping back into your personal power, you actually standing up for yourself and going for what it is that you believe, going for what it is that you uh, resonate with, okay? Allowing yourself to finally speak, you know? Speak your truth, speak up, speak about, speak, say what you want, say what you mean, you know? Don't, you, you need to let your, your unique voice be heard, you know? It's time for you to stop being timid, shy. If you are timid or shy or holding back your own, your personal self-expression, it is time for you to, to let it all out, you know? Shout, shout, let it all out. I'm hearing that song. Shout, shout, let it all out. These are the things we can do without. Come on. I don't know what the hell. Why, why is that song popping in my head? Yeah, that's like an 80s pop song. <laughs> That popped into my head. Wow. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's telling you to temper your aggression and your anger that you may have within a certain situation. And I feel that a lot of you guys may be uh, dealing with anger and ag aggression due to you not being able to fully express yourself. Okay. That's why I feel that it has to come out because when you don't fully express yourself, that that's what happens. You know, you get frustrated, you know. Uh, you get angry, you get irritated, you know, that's why you have to, in whatever way uh, it is meant to happen, you have to like allow yourself to express it, you know, um, allow yourself to step into your masculine energy. A lot of you guys, regardless of your gender may be in a more, uh, may have been in a more feminine type energy, you know? To where you may have been a little more timid, you may have been a little more shy, more reserved, but now it is time for you to step back into a more masculine type role to where you allow yourself to, like I said before, speak, allow yourself to shine, allow yourself to be more uh, aggressive in certain ways, you know? Not aggressive to the point where it's annoying, okay? Not that type of aggressive, but you know, more aggressive to where you actually go for the things that you want and you actually speak up and you let people know what it is that you want and you pursue the things that you want. You know, you put action into the things that you want. You go after it, you know, and you don't just sit back and just allow things to just happen to you. You know, you want, you want to actually do things, you know, uh, that will take you to the places where you want to go yeah so but ma'at ma'at fairness so it says this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner so i feel that uh there's balance also coming out into the situation i see uh justice is telling me balance that you balancing out your self your uh, emotions, your um, energetic feels, your energetic self, your spiritual self, all that stuff. You're balancing yourself out. And I feel that this balance is going to take that energy into a more positive and a more productive uh, place and allow you to finally start, you know, seeing some things happen in your life. Uh, finally start to uh receive like uh abundance coming into your life you know this is that balance and i feel that it's going to be with you stepping up and you're stepping up to this uh masculine energy like you're going to balance things out between the masculine excuse me and the feminine and i feel it's going to be the catalyst for 
a lot of new things are coming to your life okay like a doorway i'm seeing a portal happening once you once you balance the energies out you know yeah four of pentacles we have queen of swords death death tree of swords all right yeah so four of pentacles okay it's time for you guys okay to stop holding on to the past stop holding on to the past version of yourself okay stop holding on to things that no longer serve your highest good stop holding on to ways ideas uh thought patterns um the way that you do things stop holding on to those ways if they're outdated and outmoded and they're not getting you anywhere it's time for you guys to do something different so you can make that energetic shift to take you guys into a more on a more abundant path for yourself okay so i feel that you guys need to to let go you know i feel that the energy here has been suffocated okay i feel the energy has been suffocated and i feel that you gotta let go let go take a breather just like i just did like exhale you gotta let go oh damn i'm not finished here queen of swords yeah you gotta cut you gotta cut some stuff out of your life you know it's time for you to cut things out of your life that no longer serve your highest good i mean that's that's you know not rocket science here when we're looking at the queen of swords this is like what no longer what is what is not helping you you know what is keeping you stuck uh in the past what is keeping you and it's so funny that all these group has something to do about letting things go and uh releasing yourself from the past so if this resonates you might want to check out the other two piles also <laughs> Ah, yeah, that was a theme, letting go. So you need to let go, cut things out of your life that no longer serve your highest good, or that are not healthy for you. Cut them out, let them go. If it's a person who's causing you drama, who's being a jerk, cut them out, let them go. If it's uh, some sort of environment or situation that you're in that is not healthy for you, cut it out, let it go, okay? We got death. This is talk talks about, you know, things ending, you allowing things to end too, you know? You allowing things in and allowing um, new things to be new things to come into your experience. Okay, this is like death and rebirth is what I'm getting the whole vibe here. This is you letting stuff go, you allowing things that have ended to die. Right? I feel some of you guys are even in are uh, like a past connection that you may have been in has ended. But you're still energetically holding on to it. You're still in uh, this three of swords energy, you know. You're still in heartache. You're still in um, some of you guys. I feel it's like a wounded animal. You know that wounded animal. Like when an animal is wounded, um, it may be very, very defensive towards everybody, even people who try to help it. You know, this is telling you to, to not be in that, the, not be in that energy. You know. Yeah, you may have been hurt, and no, I'm not trying to discount or try to overlook uh, your experiences. But at the same time, there comes a time where you have to heal, allow yourself to heal and move on from it, okay? If something has ended, so let's say if somebody got you in a third-party situation. If you were in a third-party situation and your situation is like, once that third person enters, it's like a done deal, you know? Unless you want to sit there and fight and fight and fight. I don't, I don't know, whatever. I'm not going to talk about all that. But um, if something is ended, let it go. You know, there's no need to hold on to it, to have hope in it. If somebody played you dirty or did something or, or uh, let you know that they don't value your connection with them, let it go. You know, because there's something better for you. OK, you just got to let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Break through the serenity. Okay. So I see you guys also. You have the ability um, if you want to also. And this is something that is divinely uh, being trying to come being orchestrated into your experience and trying to, you know, allow you to be able to to tap into that as well as you finding peace of mind. You know, you letting go of all this tough, rough energy heartbreak pain rejection all that stuff 
letting all that go and finding peace of mind once again, you know, finding that peace within yourself. You know what I mean? Finding that peace within yourself. Dream and believe, dream and believe that things can change for you, okay? No, have faith and allow yourself to move out of that dark energy. I feel that some of you guys are, have been stuck within this dark energy for too long now. And now it's time for you guys to move out of it, right? You got to let it go. You can't stay stuck, stagnant, and within that energy. And deep down inside, a part of you wants to move forward. Deep down inside, a part of you wants to live out your dreams. Deep down inside, a part of you believes, you know? Deep down inside, a part of you wants to let go of the past and not allow the past to dictate your future, okay? Tap into that energy, dream, and believe. Know that good things can happen. Know that good things can change. Go to your faith, okay? Whatever it is that you believe in, God, spirits, angels, whatever, whatever you believe in, go to it and tap into that energy to help you heal and move forward as well, okay? Let the sun shine in. All right, we got to let the sun shine in. Let the sun shine in. It's time for you to... You guys have been cultivating and marinating in this dark, uh, sad energy for too long, so long. It's time for you guys to let some new energy in. It's time for a new beginning. It's time for you to let that die and for you to move forward, right? It's time for you to just release it because what you have in store for you, where you're going, you know, there's no room for this, uh, this dark energy or this event that may have taken place in the past. It's time for you to let the sun shine back in. The sun wants to come back out, right? But some of y'all are holding the rain clouds. Some of y'all are doing rain dances, holding the rain clouds over your head, over your house or whatever, and you don't want it, you don't want it to be anything else but just rain, 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 rain. No, you gotta let the sun come out because the sun wants to come out and play. Let the sun come out and play. Let your situation change and evolve into something that is more healthy, something that is better for you and something that is a more enjoyable experience, you know, get back out into the game, you know, find someone that truly loves you, connect with this uh, next uh, soulmate, you know, that's coming into your experience or that wants to come into your experience. We got days, June, June may be a significant month for you guys. Something may be happening in days, in a few days, okay? It depends on your actions. So this says that it's saying that it's all in your hands, right? You got more power within this situation than you think or that you may believe. That's why it's telling you to dream and believe, you know, uh, if you feel that you're just going to think nothing is going to go right for you. If you feel that you just want to be in that rain 24 seven, then you're going to be in that rain for 24 seven. And that's just it, you know, but if you want to feel the sunshine, if you want happiness to come back into your life, if you want the situation to be healed, if you want good things to start happening or, you know, you to start living again and having this new uh, energy, you know, coming into your experience and to look, look at the brighter side of things and to start living again, it's up to you, you know? There's no magic wand that anybody could wave for you to force you to do it you gotta want to do it on your own you know it's telling you to take responsibility for your life and stop just allowing things to just like drift and go wherever the wind blows you you know sometimes people they just get uh, caught in in that whole thing to where they just give up and they may go to readings and then expect the reading to be like this magical thing to where they don't have to do nothing. They don't have to put in any action and things are just going to change because they just because they listen to a reading. No, you got to do your part, too. That's why it says it depends on your actions, what you do. Right. Depends on your actions. Uh, eight days may be significant for you because eight days. OK, the number eight. What? Wait, wait, you got eight here, too. Let me see. Yeah, 17, 8. Wow. Okay, yeah. You guys, I feel that you guys are headed for like abundance. You guys are headed for 
uh, a brand new day, a brand new cycle in your life, you know, uh, more happiness, definitely more uh, peace in your life, more sun in your life, more happy times in your life. If you allow it, you know, if you go chase it, if you go for it, if you be assertive, you, this is this is all about like, you know, changing your mindset as well dreaming believing and then putting it in an action this is very just telling you to that you need to get out and do something step into that masculine energy and that is you know being assertive uh going out and doing something going out and making it happen you know using your magician powers and then using your your uh taking action when you when it's you need to take action okay so that's what i got for you guys for this group if you like it if it resonated with you uh, subscribe for more videos, uh, like the video as well, uh, comment if you'd like to comment, and much love and light to you guys, I wish you all the best on your next soulmate love connection, okay, take care, ciao.